Hey guys, it's Mark and Jared from Creedmoor Sports. By now you've got your TRX 925 Precision Reloading Scale. We're going to show you how to get it out, get it unboxed, get it put together, calibrate it, and start precision reloading. Sounds good, Mark. First step, we're going to take the load plate, set it right on the post. Takes about two seconds, easy. That Man, was you easy. did it the first time. <laughs> Yeah. The next thing we're going to do is put together the draft shield. Okay. Unfortunately, that's a little bit of a trick. That takes a minute. Yeah. While Jarrett puts together the draft shield, I'm going to talk you guys through it. Guys, your draft shield is going to come in five pieces. Jarrett's going to put it together here, and I'm going to tell you a little about it while he does. Simple slot together draft shield. It's made out of polycarbonate. We kind of fixed it where it's modular. You can use one side, take one side out. You can leave the top on or off. Everybody's going to do it their own way, and you just kind of have to find what works for you. You can even drill a hole in the side of it or cut the side of it out if you want to. If you break a piece or have trouble with a piece, don't, don't worry. We've got extras at the store. We can get you taken care of on this. It just slots together, sets down on top of your scale. This is to keep errant wind from affecting your reading on your scale. If you load under a fan or you've got a big AC unit blowing on you, you're probably going to have to cut it off, but this will help. Okay, guys, now that you got your draft shield assembled and put on top of your scale, get your power cord, plug your scale into wall power. Don't turn it on, just plug it in. Let it set for about 30 minutes or so, and we'll tell you why. So the biggest thing about electronics is always put out a little bit of heat. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a TV or if it's a monitor or, or if it's electronic precision scale. They will put off a little bit of heat, and that heat causes things to expand, and that causes things to move. And so you want to make sure things kind of get up to temperature before you go and start using it. One of the things that really annoys us about some of the other, other electronic scales is they recommend you do that each time you, you uh, go up to your reloading bench. So if you're going to go ahead and set a reloading bench and maybe only got an hour, you got to spend the first half hour running Just a scale wait. cell. Yeah. yeah, so you don't want to do that. So we set this scale up so when you plug it in, it's going to go ahead and warm up and get itself ready. And then all you have to do is turn the power button on, the screen boots up, you're ready to go. While you're doing that, go ahead, find your three weights. Go ahead and take the tops off of them because you're going to need access to them in the next step. Okay, guys, you've got your scale assembled, you've got it out, and you've had it plugged in for 30 minutes. Next, we're going to cut the faceplate on for the first time. When you cut the faceplate on for the first time, the scale is automatically going to go into the calibration routine. First thing it's going to ask for is a 2-gram weight. Take your 2-gram weight out of its protective case and set it on the faceplate. It shows you it's calibrating. It acknowledges it's got the 2-gram weight on it. Take your 2-gram weight off, and it will ask you for the 10-gram weight. Do the same thing with the 10-gram weight. Take it out, set it on the load plate, and give it just a second to settle and read the weight. Take your 10-gram weight off of the load plate. It will ask you for the 50-gram weight. Take it out, set it on your load plate, and give it just a second. Once it calibrates this weight, it gives you the total of that weight in grains. Once you do that, your calibration is complete and you're ready to use your scale for the first time. Okay guys, you've got your new scale out, got it put together and got it calibrated. Now it's time to start weighing powder. Before you do that, take your powder pan, put it on the load cell. Once you place your powder pan on the load cell, it's actually going to weigh your powder pan and give you a reading. Let it settle and hit tear. Tear zero is a scale to the weight of your powder pan. Always think of tear as zero. Now we're going to throw a charge and let you see how the scale works. We threw our charge. We're going to let our scale weigh it, see where we are. We're just a little bit short of where we want to be, which is 45. So we're going to show you how we get there. That's it, guys. 45 grains exactly. Perfect. Okay, guys, that's it. We've shown you how to take your scale out of the box, put it together, calibrate it, weigh your first charge of powder, and now you're ready to start reloading. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. Please leave us a comment. Ring that notification bell. That way you know when we got new stuff coming out. If you get a moment, go ahead and check us out at creedmoresports.com. Mark and I were really under the gun to bring you some new stuff, so check back once a week. We're sure to have something new for you there. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, 
dad jokes, go ahead and shoot them over to tech support at creedmoresports.com. We really enjoy reading your guys' emails, and we enjoy responding to them as well. That's all we got for you this week. Thanks, Thanks guys. Scott.